Hi guys, can you hear me? Me yes. escuchan. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Thank you so much for uh, joining today, right? And we're going to continue with the class. Solo de mi momentito, voy a abrir aquí la presentation de ustedes. De mi momentito. Bear with me. Vaya, chicos. Así que, I'm sorry for what, what happened, you know, yesterday. Lamentamos mucho el conveniente de ayer, ¿verdad? Thank you for your understanding. Gracias por su comprensión. ¿Verdad? De hecho, pues, um, permítanme que esta sección 5. De hecho, eh, fue bien, bien de repente, ¿verdad? Cayó un super rayo y pues no hemos quedado sin internet. De hecho, de hecho, este, eh, no, no lo resolvieron, lamentablemente, no hay, no hay internet aún en el área. Así que, pues, eh, me tocó venir a otro lugar, ¿verdad? A dar la clase para no tener que perder otra, otra clase, ¿verdad? Con ustedes. Pero sí, lamentablemente, pues, cayó un super rayo por aquí y creo que dañó equipo, ¿verdad? De, de, de esa compañía. Y lamentablemente, pues, dejaron sin electricidad toda la residencial, <risa> incluyéndonos a nosotros. Así de que eh, eh, estamos acá, ¿verdad? En otro lado, pero eh, lo importante, pues, es, es poder desarrollar los contenidos y que para el día de viernes, pues, ustedes puedan finalizar, ¿verdad? Así que lamentamos el inconveniente y nuevamente, gracias por su comprensión, chicos. So, we're going to begin here with the first, you know, topic that we have in unit number four five or section number five right it says i don't like working on weekends <laughs> i don't like working on weekends guys what do you think what do you think about working on weekends what's your opinion do you like working on weekends i think it's terrible i don't like <laughs> i think it's terrible they say okay very good yeah yeah because actually it, you don't have time for your family right what else guys what's your opinion on on working on weekends Dígame, hector good evening teacher good evening for me uh, working on weekend is very hard because mm -hmm. um, we take a rest in the weekend mm -hmm. and we go and we uh, have to time for the family mm -hmm. and well, only that yes and you're totally right hector and 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 actually it's the time when you are able to connect with your family, right? It's, it's el tiempo que ustedes necesitan para convivir, right? So you can spend time with your family, your wife, your kids, etc. Thank you so much. What about you, Damaris? What's your opinion? I think it's unnecessary because uh, in the week and uh, mm -hmm. from Monday to Friday, we usually uh, have all time out. Uh, um, also, we lost the time with the family on, on Sundays on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and that's a that's a situation that sometimes you know people do not see the importance of connecting with others, connecting with your relatives, connecting with your with your environment, or to do something that you enjoy, like watching TV, watching movies, cooking. Um, reading working in the in the yard etc i mean we have different things that we like right uh, Xiomara, what about you um, yes uh, well, before uh, uh, don't have enough time with, for our family mm -hmm. and also for us and the work and is tired too and in my case i work Monday mm -hmm. on weekend, mm -hmm. or Saturday or Sunday, but one day off. 
but you need one day off, right? Exactly. Thank you very much. What about you, Julio Cesar? What's your opinion? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oh, I think uh, sometimes it's, it's uh, in, you. We have to to work on on weekends, mm -hmm. and it depends uh, the the type of of job you have. So, uh, if you if you work for a in a hospital. Yeah, uh, you have to work uh, on on weekends because they they don't open uh, twenty four hours. Exactly, that would be twenty four hours, seven mm -hmm. days a week, right? Seven so it's uh -huh. exactly. it's a place that is always open. So therefore, mm -hmm. that that would be you know part of the job to work on weekends, right? Exactly. Thank you very much, Julio Cesar. Anyone else? No? Okay, very good. So the 10, the 10 hottest jobs in the United States. Let's go ahead and take a look at this list, guys. Look at it. The 10 hottest jobs in the United States. Expected number of new jobs between 1994 and 2005. Well, a little bit, you know, obsolete. Un poquito obsoleto el dato, but uh, let's go ahead and check. It says teachers, right? Teachers. Um, this, uh, this, this, this is the expected numbers, right? El, el que se espera. We have nurse, right? Executive o cualquier ejecutivo, ¿verdad? En este caso. Eh, computer anal analyst, right? Truck, truck driver, social worker, lawyer, financial manager, computer engineer, an accountant, okay? So take a look at all those professions. Talk about these questions and complete the task. Does any of this information surprise you? Why? What jobs do you think are hot in your country? Are they the same as the jobs above? Rank the jobs from the most interesting to the less interesting. So guys, what are the hottest jobs in El Salvador, in, in the country? Like those jobs that... Uh, you say, oh, uh, I think these people, you know, are getting a lot of opportunities in this area. So what would be the hottest job that we can find in El Salvador? Hottest jobs. Yes, Julio Cesar. Oh, no sé si se quedó la manita arriba de la vez anterior. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, think about it. Mientras tanto, voy a pasar lista. Piense, piense. Give me one moment. Today is Tuesday. Aquí está. Okay, so Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Present. Thank you. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lisette Velázquez de Salgado. Present teacher. Thank you, Damari Saray Garcia Ceron. Present. Thank you, Daniel Alejandro Janes Diaz. Eliu Fernando Flores Diaz. Present teacher. Gracias. Elsie Cristina Correa de Ramírez. Present. Gracias. Lord Noemi Dimas de Rivas. Present teacher. Gracias. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Teacher. Gracias. Francisco Ernesto Jimena Rivera. Gabriel José Hernández López. Gisela Emperatriz Present. Cañas Bonilla. Gabriel Present. José. Gracias, Gisela. Gabriel José, perdón, es que yo veo como que alguien dice acá, pero no se escucha casi. Gabriel Present José. Teacher. Ahí está. <ríe> Ay, que sí, bien, bajito el volumen. Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Presente, teacher. Gracias. Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Julio César Campos Yara. Present, teacher. Gracias. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. 
Present teacher. Gracias, Carla Elena López Rivas. Present teacher. Gracias, Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Present. Gracias, Kevin. María Dolores García de López. Present teacher. Gracias, Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Present. Gracias, Rebeca. Eh, Wendy Paola López Martínez. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Gracias. Xiomara Violeta Salazar Iraeta. Present. Gracias. Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Present teacher. Gracias. Gracias, chicos. Muy amables. Okay, so let's continue here with the questions, okay? So, what jobs do you think are hot in your country? Are they the same as the jobs above? So, what's your opinion, guys? Yes, eh, tengo la manita de Julio César y la de Xiomara Violeta. Julio César? Oh, teacher. Yes. Uh, I can... Uh, I can... Lower uh, the hand. Lower the hand. Yo le ayudo. Don't worry, yo le ayudo. Ya está. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Xiomara, you. you're welcome. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh, jobs uh, don't surprise me. Mm -hmm. I think there, there is, uh, there are uh, some similar jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, Tele operador of call center in English. The word the teleoperadores of call centers PC job. They work 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And the your engineers through there is a very a busy work too. Totally, actually, I agree. We have work mm -hmm. for engineers, and, and there are a lot of opportunities for engineers, right? Uh, but it's tough, it's difficult. Yes. I remember when I was um, in high school, and you know, uh, generally from the school, they take you to a attitude, attitude tests, right? It's como un examen de aptitudes que, que hacíamos en bachillerato, recuerdo yo. Todavía creo que lo hacen. And I remember eh, lots of, uh, you know, students were getting that as, as, the, as the, the first option. Era como la primera opción que les aparecía a ellos de ingeniería, right? En mi caso, pues, era la segunda. But it's it's difficult. I mean, it's, it's uh, one of my best friends. Uh, she is an engineer. But actually, I would I would see what she uh, what she you know did via todo lo que hacía, and I was like, no, definitely that's not for me. It's very as a very sacrificing, you know, um, major. So yes, you're totally right, Xiomara. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Any other opinion? From the list, right? De la que ya está ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son los que ustedes consideran que sí se pueden, como decir en El Salvador, estos teachers son los que nosotros sentimos que están bien demandados, ¿verdad? What about the next question? Rank the jobs from the most interesting to the least interesting. What would be the most interesting? Mejor la pregunta, hagámosla así. What is the most interesting job from the list and what is the least? Interesting job from the list. El menos interesante. What would be that? El más interesante y el menos interesante. No one? Qué callados han venido, chicos, hoy. ¿Tengo que van? I look, I look. The account is the more is the is the less interesting. Accountant. Yes. That's the less interesting. Okay, very good. Uy, perdón, se abrió el timer. Okay, and the most interesting one, y el más interesante para usted, eh, Hector Luego Carla. Uh -huh. The more the more inter inter interesting is that the teacher because there are a lot of demand for the job 
Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, there are lots of opportunities, right, for teachers. There are always, you know, schools that are opening, you know, their um, their doors, right, to new students. And yes, there are lots of opportunities for teachers. Thank you very much. Carla, Alicia. I think it depends um, the 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 sector mm -hmm. because the teachers are very need and computer analysts and financial managers I think are very um political. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're and totally right. Drug driver maybe is less, but it depends about the about the sector of the work. Mm -hmm. Yes, totally agree. Thank you very much. Anyone else? No? Okay, very good. So this takes us to the next conversation, right? This conversation is about you know, the same topics that, the same topic, I'm sorry, that you have been discussing, okay? So let's go ahead and listen to the conversation. Let me share the sound, and then we're going to go from there. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to it one more time. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? 
No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the conversation here because actually we are able to see just the first part, okay? So, as you know, on the newspaper and nowadays on the internet, you can find a jobs lists, right? So, they are published or posted on social media or they are published or posted on, on the specific websites where they are always sharing, you know, information about the jobs that are available, right? So, he's, this person is looking for, you know, um, a, a job, right? And he says, but you have to work on Saturdays and Sundays, right? Because if, if you're working uh, with a retail job, you know, any retail job, you have to work Saturdays and Sundays. Retail is todo lo que tenga que ver con tiendas, verdad, eh, malls, eh, stores, etc. So if you work in a retail store like supermarkets too, generally you have to work on the weekends, verdad? And he says, I hate working on weekends, right? I hate working on weekends. Oh, so do I, or here's a job in sales. It's a job selling children's book to bookstores. That sounds interesting. Let's see, you have to uh, have a driver's license. You need to have a driver's license and you have to work some evenings, right? I don't mind working evenings during the week and I enjoy driving. So what's the phone number? And then this person calls in, okay? Now, what is the problem when he calls, you know, about the job? What is the other requirement that was not mentioned in the in the in the job listing? Teacher, tell me. Uh, the other requirement that. Uh, the lady didn't mention in the newspaper it's that he has to speak other language mm -hmm. that's all right sorry es que creo que estaba cerrada la parte de los participants y no veía las manos solo me quedé callada y esperé pero thank you for, <laughs> okay. for, for speaking up okay very good thank you for what about you daniel what do you think Eh, Daniel, no le escuchamos, fíjense. Parece que no, que no está en mute, pero no, no le escuchamos. Vaya, ahí está en mute. Ahora está, ya lo quitó. Hable. No, we cannot hear you, no se le escucha. So I don't know what happened. Si gusta Daniel, puede salir si volver a ingresar. Tal vez en ese en ese proceso, pues podemos eh, escuchar su voz cuando desactive el micrófono. Uh -huh. Go ahead. We will we will uh, be waiting for you. Thank you very much. Dice por acá. Yes, dice I have a problem. Yeah, I know. No problem. Okay, guys. Anyone else what, besides Flor that she was sharing uh, uh, the right answer with you? Anyone else? What is the job requirement that they didn't mention in the job listing? No? Well, as your classmate Flor was sharing with you, right, they are talking about speaking another language, right? It's very important to speak another language if you are applying for a job, especially in El Salvador, because they require you to at least uh, no basic English, right? So it's important that um, that you try, you know, to, to keep updated on that part. Now, guys, uh, I'm going to move here to this part with gerunds and short responses, right? Uh, generally, we're going to have affirmative sentences, right? And negative sentences with gerunds are easy, okay? Now, um, here you have also other ways to agree and disagree right, with someone, and other verbs are 
I would say phrases, pero a veces parecen como collocations, ¿verdad? Pero other verbs and phrases followed by germs. For example, I like, I hate, and I am good at. Those three expressions, they can be used with germs. Esas tres expresiones se usan con germs, okay? I like, I hate, and I am good at. Luego lo que viene después es un gerundio. Eh, en la parte de hate y like, yo puedo usarlo con un gerundio o con un infinitivo. Ambas opciones se pueden. ¿verdad? Entonces, I like driving. I hate working on weekends and I am good at using computers, right? Now, the negative form, it's, you know, um, son ya collocations, pero son frases establecidas. I don't mind. No me molesta, digamos así. I don't mind working evenings. I'm not good at writing reports, pero no soy buena escribiendo reportes. I can't stand making mistakes. A perfectionist, ¿verdad? Una persona que sea perfeccionista. ¿Cómo voy a yo a decir que estoy de acuerdo? Bueno, yo puedo decir so do I, ¿verdad? O so am I. ¿Cuándo voy a usar cuál, teacher? Cuando sea un verbo, cualquier verbo que no sea el verbo to be, so do I. Pero si es el verbo to be el que está en medio de esa oración, so am I. Y eso quiere decir yo también. ¿Verdad? Para dar el, el, para decir que estoy de acuerdo y que yo también pues pienso lo mismo o estoy en esa misma situación. Disagree. No. Dice, oh, I don't. Really? I like it. Gee, I'm not. Right? Entonces, eh, I like driving. Oh, I don't. My case, I don't like driving. I hate working on weekends. Really? I like it. Siempre va hay uno. Siempre hay uno que dice, sí, me encanta trabajar el fin de semana. I'm good at using computers. Oh, gee, I'm not. I'm not good at using computers, right? For the negative statements, you can use those three expressions. I don't mind working evenings. I am not good at writing reports and I can't stand making mistakes. Entonces, las frases que van con gerundio son, I don't mind, I am not good at, and I can't stand. ¿verdad? Y luego viene un gerund. Pero como ah, digo yo tampoco, digo neither do I, si es cualquier verbo. Pero si es el verbo to be, el verbo to be, neither am I, yo tampoco, ¿verdad? Neither can I, yo tampoco puedo. Para, para decir un disagreement, un desacuerdo, yo digo, well, I do, ¿verdad? Cuando me dicen, no, I don't mind working even, es bueno. Si a ella no le interesa, pues a mí sí. Well, I do. I'm not good at writing reports. Disagree? I am. I am good at writing reports. I can't stand making mistakes. Oh, I don't mind. If they made a mistake, so it's okay. It was not their fault. They got confused, right? Other way, other verbs or phrases followed by errands on love, enjoy, and be interested in. I love painting. I love drawing. I love watching TV. I enjoy cooking, I enjoy cleaning, right? I enjoy doing the homework. Be interested in, I am interested in English. I am interested in, in I am interested in, I'm sorry, in languages, right, etc. So we can use this information to create, you know, our own sentences. Now, what about you guys? Okay, what about you? In your case, please tell me. Vamos a ocupar esta frase que tenemos acá. Deme un momento, aquí se la voy a poner. Van a ser las que tienen aquí en pantalla. Aquí me voy un momento. Veamos. Ok, so the sentences, right, are I like. Luego, I hate, I'm good at, I'm good at, I don't mind, I'm not good at, right, I'm not good at,
and I can't stand. Okay, guys. Do you have questions about the vocabulary words? I can't stand. Questions about the vocabulary? Vocabulario, chicos? Bye. Okay, entonces, let's go ahead and listen to some of your answers. Okay, who, do we have a volunteer? Or you can take, hagamos algo, take four minutes, ¿verdad? Cuatro minutitos así rapiditos, dos, tres minutitos mejor. And try to complete this, the questions, try to complete the questions or, or the sentences, okay? You have three minutes and they begin right now. So I have a question. Yes. Tell me. Daniel? Hey, hello, teacher. Yes. I, you I said that you question. have a question? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, no, I only try with my, ah. my mic. Uh, yes. Because I have a um, difficult to connect my mic. mic. But I found out. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much for letting me know. Yes, and now we can hear you, right? Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, I go to work this part. To create your sentences. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. After we finish, you are going to share with your partners your sentences, okay? Remember that we are using gerunds, okay? Gerundios. Guys, time's up. Let me know. Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So, I would like to listen to the um, to your to your sentences. You can raise your hand so I so we can all of us can listen to your sentences. Eh, Carla, Elena López. Uh, I like spending time with my family. Mm -hmm. I hate going out in my leisure time. Mm -hmm. 
I'm good at cooking delicious food. Excellent. I do mean washing the dishes on weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at um um I said no. No, okay. Uh, uh, no. And I can stand waking up early every day. Mm, yeah, it's difficult, right? It's difficult. Thank you so very much, Carla Elena. Okay, and we say I I don't mind, right? I don't mind. What about the next one? Oh, Flor, thank you. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. I like watching TV at night. I hate waking up early. I'm good at playing softball. I don't mind eating late. I'm not good at cooking chicken. I can't stand texting all day. Very good, excellent, Lord. Thank you, Simara, what about you? Me? Yes. I like, I like watching movies. Hate waking early. I'm good at helping to my son home. I don't mind going day and I can't eat in socks. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Besides the girls, aparte de las chicas, eh, ¿qué, ¿quién más? What about guys? What about you guys, los chicos? Mm -hmm. Tell us your sentences. Thank you, eh, girls. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. I like listening music. Mm -hmm. Listening to music. Listening to music. I hate waiting at someone. I am good at go to the beach. Remember, those son gerundios, but I am good at going. Right. Going, uh -huh. going to going to the beach. Mm -hmm. I don't mind to I don't mind to put in the I don't mind to be busy at the cinema mm -hmm. uh, no terminado la tema porque no se me okay. ocurrió very good. Vaya, solo vamos a ver algo, chicos, con respecto a significado, ¿verdad? I like es me gusta. I hate es, bueno, odiar decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? I am good at, soy bueno en. I, I am good at, soy bueno en. Cuando yo digo I don't mind es, eh, no, me, no me incomoda, no me molesta hacer tal cosa. Eso es I don't mind. Luego, I'm not good at, no soy bueno en o para. ¿Verdad? Y I can't stand, no soporto. Ay, no. I can't stand eh, this type of situation, etc. ¿Verdad? Dígame, yo, eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I, I like swimming. I hate running in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm good at in the kitchen. I am I don't good mean... at, I'm good at cooking, ¿verdad? I'm good at cooking, porque lo que va después es I'm good at, so, so I'm good at, pues soy bueno en, y luego en el caso suyo, cooking, ¿verdad? Pero si digo I am good at kitchen, eh, lamentablemente no, no podríamos encontrarle un, una interpretación. Entonces podemos decir I am good at cooking, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind working weekends. I don't mind working on weekends. Okay, very good. Anything else? Jocelyn, Elizabeth? No. Daniel, what about you? Okay. 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 Sorry, thank you. 
You're welcome. Okay, okay. This is my sentence and my answer. The first one is, I like listening to rock music. All right, that. Uh -huh, I listening. I I like listening to rock music. Correct. Okay. To rock, to rock. To rock music. Okay. Uh, and the the second one, I don't know if correct. If I hate some sleep at night. I hate. I'm sorry. Don't sleep at night. I hate sleeping at night. Ah, I hate, I hate not being nice. able to sleep. Uh -huh. Así, ve, cuando son negativos, podemos decir, I hate not being okay. able to sleep at night. Okay? Or okay, I hate... Ajá, uh -huh, continue. Okay, if I hate not being able mm -hmm. to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. I'm good at cooking Italian food. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't mind going to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. right. I'm not good at reading a history. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not good. And the uh, last one, I can't stand listening to reggaeton music. <laughs> I can't stand listening to reggaeton music, yes. In my case, I have to say... But I can't stand, neither can I. Neither can I, okay? Que sería algo así como yo tampoco, yo tampoco, ¿verdad? Okay, <laughs> uh -huh. Daniel, anything else? Yeah. No, you so. Excellent. Thank you so much, Daniel. Francisco, what about you? Francisco, Thank you, Antonio. teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. My sentences are, I like working as a team. Uh, I hate waiting a lot. Um, I'm good at playing soccer. I don't mind working late. I'm not good at cooking. And I can't stand spelling mistakes. <laughs> I can't stand spelling mistakes. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much, Francisco. What about you, Gisela Imperatriz? Mm. I like sleeping late. I hate eating fish. I'm good at reading a story. I don't mind walking a lot. I'm not good at public speaking. I can't stand staying in a public place too long. Yeah, and actually that last one, right? I can't stay in a public place for long. Yeah, I have to say the same thing. Neither can I. I I don't know, but when I was a little girl, my father used to tell to my mother, "Let's meet at this place, and let's have dinner together." So we will we will go to that, you know, place, and we have to wait and wait and wait. So no, 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 I don't like neither. Okay, uh, what about you, Carlita, Carla, Alicia? I like cooking with my mom. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, I, but um, in este caso yo le voy a decir a usted, so do I. Yo uh, también, ajá. Uh -huh. I am good at helping children learn. Mm -hmm. I don't mind listening to some someone when I'm busy. Mm -hmm. And I can't stand to smell the smoke. Yeah, that smell, right? Actually, uh, neither can I, because I, I don't know, it's it just, first, it bothers me, and I get a, a sore throat, right? Dolor de garganta, and, and, and then, you know, it's it's very uncomfortable. You're totally right. Thank you very much, Carla. And what about you, Julio Cesar? Julio Cesar? Can you hear me, Julio Cesar? Uh, here. Okay, yeah. I like cooking fish. Mm -hmm. I hate washing uh, the dishes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm good at writing paper for work. For work, uh, I don't mind waking up early every morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not good at playing football, and I can stand listening to banda music. Yeah, actually, it it's it's you know kind of a different uh, type of music, right? Because in my case, I am not familiar with you know that type of music, right? So, I totally get you. So I have to say, neither can I. So thank you very much, Julio Cesar, and all the rest of you guys for helping me with your sentences. And as you can see, right, uh, that's the way we're going to be using. These structures. Ya vienen solo para que usted agregue un gerund o un gerundio o un nombre, ¿verdad? Eh, en este caso, pues gerunds, gerundios, ¿verdad? Cuando yo quiero decir yo también o yo tampoco, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos algunas opciones. So do I, si es cualquier verbo, ¿verdad? Y si es verbo to be, so am I. Y lo mismo con neither do I, yo tampoco, ¿verdad? Neither do I, cualquier verbo. Verbo to be, Neither am I. Y si es un verbo modal, en este caso, can neither can I. Okay, so we have like several options. Well, guys, let's go ahead and work on this exercise. Okay, it's going to be uh, a matching activity, but first I'll give you three minutes. Okay, please take three minutes for you to complete the exercise and then we're going to check it together. Okay, so your three minutes begin right now. Let me know when you finish, okay? Okay, time's up. Let's go ahead and uh, check the answers. Are you ready? Estamos listos. 
o quieren un minutito más. El mínimo. Vaya, no hay problema. Let me know. Let me know. Avísenme. So, Dígame. so uh, what you mean? Uh, I can't remember the the word or the sentence. I can't stand. I can't stand. No, no soporto. Bueno, no soporto ajá, ese tipo de esa, esa actividad o esa persona o esa actitud. Ajá. I can't stand, no soporto. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, excuse me, what is the difference with I hate and I can't stand? Well, actually there's no difference. No habría diferencia. Ahí usted puede escoger cuál de las dos, ¿verdad? Este quiere, quiere utilizar. Sin embargo, ¿verdad? Si ponemos en una balanza I hate y I can't stand, I hate, digamos, tiene un 80%, ¿verdad? De, de ese, ay, detesto tal cosa. ¿Verdad? Y I can't stain quizás es a little bit stronger, es un poquito más fuerte, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, I can't stand es cuando usted dice no soporto esto, una situación. En cambio, I hate, ay no, odio eso, lo detesto, decimos nosotros. Entonces, esa quizás puede ser cualquiera de las dos, no hay una diferencia en sí, ¿verdad? En, en, en lo que se dice, sino más bien en la intensidad. I can't stand quizás es más más pesadito. Uh -huh. No sé si contestó su you. pregunta. You're welcome. Yeah. Ok. Voy a preparar aquí la tool para que podamos hacer el matching. Listo. It says match the phrases in columns in columns A and B to make statements about yourself. Right, obviously, right, this is going to vary. Va a variar porque sobre ustedes, ¿verdad? Eh, I don't like, ok, I don't like. If you see, quizás ahorita, pues lo más importante es revisar la estructura. Talking, working, solving, sitting, commuting, making, organizing, learning. Ok, entonces I don't like. Vamos a ver cuáles son las que seleccionaron en I don't like, guys. I don't like, what do you select? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or H. I don't like. Ajá, Jocelyn. Talking on the phone. I don't like talking on the phone. Yes. Ok, my husband always says that he doesn't like talking on the phone. Ok. I'm not very good at. ¿Qué contestaron ahí, chicos? I'm not very good at. Ajá, Daniel, what do you answer then? Um, I don't, I don't, very good. Oh, number one, I don't like, is the letter E, community to work. Yeah, that's totally true. Okay, commuting to work, right? Is that what you, what you said? Eh, Daniel? Yes, it, yeah, it's a correct. I don't like commuting. Commuting. Commuting to work. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's totally true. Actually, in El Salvador, is very tough because if you yeah. live uh, far away from the place, you have to make sure that uh, you have you leave early in the morning, that you have yeah. to take a certain bus, you have to respect the schedule, otherwise you are late, right? Yeah, so, it's yeah. A, it's a, it's a terrible traffic. Every day. 
Yes, I imagine that. And, and actually, that's an issue in El Salvador right now. Yeah. What about the next one, guys? I'm good at. I'm good at what? What do you answer? In my case, mm -hmm. uh, number two, I'm not very good at organizing time. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's difficult for me. So. Yes, exactly. Because actually, this has this this ones have to do with you, right? And and that's the the difficult part. Okay. What about this one, guys? Que contestaron aquí? And I can't stand. I can't stand. Me gustaría escuchar sus opciones. I can't stand. Because in my case, it would be letter E. I can't stand commuting to work. I select the letter F. Letter F? For my boss. No, I I like no. Yes, exactly. Uh, Jocelyn. Thank you, teacher. I select the letter E. Letter E, yeah, commuting to work. Uh -huh. What about the rest? Va ganando commuting to work. I can't stand. The same, teacher. The same, mm -hmm. dice Francisco Antonio. Terrible. <laughs> I know, I know, Francisco. The traffic is awful. It is. Really Especially when it rains, right? When it's raining, it gets right. worse. Yeah. And, 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 in my and, case, in the yeah. morning, in the mm -hmm. afternoon, always, mm -hmm. always is, is, is terrible. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Francisco. I'm from Cal del Norte. <laughs> yes, that's totally right. I used to live there. and But I, I used to live at, I think it's 4.5, no, 3.5 a kilometer, right? It was at the very beginning, at Principio, right? But yes. yeah, I mean, the traffic there, it's terrible, guys. You have to stand in line like for forever and then after that después de eso pues sigue lo demás but ahí en el otro tráfico and it's very difficult you're <laughs> totally right Francisco you know what guys right. eh, since porque la mayoría que, creo que contestamos letter E commuting es eso moverse de, de su trabajo perdón de la casa a su trabajo y del, del trabajo a la casa pero what, what I would do o lo que yo hacía verdad what I used to do is that uh, I would leave early Yo tuve un trabajo en el que entraba a las nueve, pero yo me iba a las cinco. Imagine. Prefería irme a las cinco de la mañana, llegar, me llevaba mi desayuno, llevaba un libro, llevaba un cuaderno, y me esperaba ahí, y para mí lo más maravilloso era no tener que lidiar con tráfico. I don't like traffic jams. So that's what I would do. I would leave very early in the morning, or at between five and five thirty, right? So my goal was to go, you know, uh, to go directly to the place without traffic. And also you can save some gasoline, right? You can save on gas. You can save also, if you take your food with you, you can save on food. But the problem is, el problema es, que así como dijo Francisco, nowadays, no importa la hora que salga. O sea, there's always traffic. Siempre va a haber un poquito de tráfico. Daniel. Yeah, this is the reason because I... I was to buy a motorcycle and mm -hmm. solve the problem. <laughs> yes, a lot of people are getting motorcycles, Danny, but please be careful because, as you know, uh, yeah, they are always like driving, you know, uh, how can I say it? I, temerarily, I don't know. I don't know how to say that, but you have to be careful. I mean, to have a motorcycle is a big responsibility, right? But thank you guys for sharing that information with me, right? I'm going to finish here, but tomorrow we're going to continue, right? And and, and as you can see, the expressions are very useful. Son expresiones bien útiles, okay? That you can use to talk about, you know, a about yourself, you know, about the things that you like, that you're interested in. If you're good at something, you can say that. All of these are used 
to um, to talk about those things, right? I don't like commuting to work, neither do I. Dice yo tampoco. Yes, okay. It's it. I think that's the one that we have in common. Vaya, de los que no me contestaron, tengo a... Daniel Alejandro. Ah, sí, ya, ¿verdad? Daniel Alejandro está acá. Yes, Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. No está. Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. No está. Hoy no vino Ibrahim. Vaya, bueno, chicos, todos ustedes, solo esas dos personas no vinieron. Así que I would like to thank you for your time. Thank you for, you know, the effort. Thank you for completing your platform on time. So remember that the for the, for the inconvenience that we had yesterday, we're going to get until Friday. El viernes sería nuestro último eh, día, así que mañana tenemos clase eh, hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? Guys, thank you very much for joining, okay? And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, you, teacher. Good, Good night, tomorrow. guys. Good night, Descansen. everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No puedo terminar la miren, chicos. Se quedó stuck mi comp. Yeah. Continue, no continue deja. Class Cabal, vamos, vámonos para la siguiente hora. Cabal, sí, no, no me deja. Está, qued está quedado como... Este... Se ha, se ha bloqueado el, el botón de, de, trabó, de terminar. Se trabó, como dicen los ¿verdad? Ah. Se trabó. Como dicen, yes, no, no ajá. I don't know what, what's going mm. on. Ahí está. Ahí está.